My name is Spencer Martin. I'm the director of athletic bands at the University of Idaho in Moscow. I am always, or I am also here with the help of Vader Percussion. And today, what we're going to talk about is stroke quality. And my caveat before I say everything is that there are a million different ways to skin a cat. There are so many techniques of doing these things. I at least hope that maybe you can glean something from this style of technique and add it to your toolbox. Um, basically, at the University of Idaho, what we like to talk about is that and there are always exceptions to these rules, but dynamics come not necessarily from velocity, but from stroke height, especially when you're working with younger students. And there are basic stroke qualities that help you enable to get dynamics and control. In some respects, I kind of like to talk about, you know, we learn to read and we learn to pronounce, sort of the same thing. It's like percussion literacy, I suppose. Um, so the first stroke we're going to talk about is called a high stroke, and the basic definition of a high stroke is that the tip of the stick starts and stops in the same place from a, a high level. There are two types of high strokes. There's an interrupted high stroke where, where it stops and it's resting on the palm of my hand. And I'm not squeezing hard, it's just basically like a blink. If I was to take the stick out of my hand, my wrist would move just like this. The big thing to think about, however, and if you go back to the other um, hand position technique, is that the stick is touching the palm of my hand when it's, not touch when it's not touching the drum. Interrupted high stroke. There's also an uninterrupted high stroke. This would be kind of as if you're bouncing on a trampoline, where you want to go straight up and down with the stick, and the stick's doing what it wants to do naturally. It wants to bounce. It's the exact same hand shape. The only difference is, Maybe I'll switch to this hand too so the other camera can see it, is that it is not resting on my palm. It's actually resting on my fingers and maybe once in a while glancing off my palm. Now if I was to play it where it stays stuck to my palm, it sounds like that. That's not what we want. So this is uninterrupted high stroke, bouncing like a trampoline. So interrupted high stroke on the palm, uninterrupted high stroke off the palm. The exact same thing goes for a low stroke. There's an uninterrupted low stroke, and there's an interrupted low stroke. One of the biggest problems that causes tension with younger players is that they play their low strokes too low. The way you find the right height for a comfortable low stroke is you do an uninterrupted low stroke and go as low as you can where it's still off the palm. If it gets too low, it doesn't bounce anymore and it stays stuck to your palm. So uninterrupted low stroke, I'd say, Two inch stroke, give or take. It is bound, it is not touching my palm. Again, it's bouncing like a trampoline. Interrupted high stroke when I'm at rest, it's on my palm. This is for obviously piano, mezzo piano type of dynamics. Another stroke, one of these I like to call a transition stroke, but it's it's called a down stroke. It starts here and ends here. It doesn't have a lot of velocity. I mean it can, but really it's just gravity's pulling it down. It starts high and ends low. The big thing is it, it is on your palm. It is on your palm the entire time. A related stroke is called an up stroke, where, again, it is on your palm. It starts low and ends high. But there's that little hit in there, up stroke. There was a, a related stroke called the back stroke, which is the same thing as an up, but it's silent. Always on the palm. So you have down on the palm, up on the palm. Now, where these come into play is flams, paradiddles, rudiments like that. So if I'm going to play hands together down and ups, down, up, down, up, down, it's not tight. I can pull the stick out at any time, but it is on my palm the entire time. I'm playing again, down, up, down, up. If I separate my hands, I'm playing flams. And every rudiment has hands together patterns like that, down, low, up, down, up, down, up. If I separate my hands, I'm playing flam taps. Paradiddle, down, low, low, up, down, low, low, up, down, low, low, up. Separate my hands, playing paradiddles. So, stroke qualities. Interrupted high, on the palm. Uninterrupted high, off the palm. Interrupted low, on the palm. Uninterrupted low, off the palm. Down stroke, on the palm. Back stroke, silent, on the palm. Upstroke on the palm. Stroke qualities. Thank you.